tongue wants to just either drop to the bottom of my mouth or it wants to race and, and fly. But we cannot help but think when our spiritual master comes, where is he coming from to be called anyway? This is the point. From where has he come? Uh, Sri Rikthavaraj Goswami has explained this in the first chapter of Chaitanya Charitamrita. And if we think of this very deeply, we will be amazed. It is a wonder of wonders, just where the Guru is actually coming from and originating from. It can be seen in different ways, but for us, Kavaraj Goswami is stimulating a deeper kind of thought that that Lord who is so compassionate upon the living beings, wanting to deliver them from within, as manifesting from within, as super soul from within, he is then manifesting as Sri Guru from without. Because we cannot visually experience the super soul within our heart, we cannot make connection there and hear his subtle advices and directions because of our material contamination. This is so glad and welcome to receive Srila Gurudev here again. That actually we were making so many preparations but all of a sudden he's here and I'm saying where has he come from? So let me offer my Andhat Pranams to Srila Gurudev and after all his sincere devotees. Why he has come and he has called so many devotees here. Nama Om Vishnu Kadaya Krishna Prasaya Bhutale Shimati Bhakti Vidhan Prasvami Tiyamani Salakaya Chaksura Nitandira, as by Shri Guru Vayamaha. I offer my respectful obeisances to you, Shri Gurudev, my Sikshan Shamanas Guru. And you are the very embodiment of all our Gurus, Narapuram Puran, especially for me, my own Diksha Gurudev. Nitya Lila Pravishta, O Vishnupad, and Matadeya Gurupad Pandha, Shri Lesi Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada. I offer my unlimited obeisances simultaneously to my Diksha Guru and Shiksha Guru, to all of our Guru Varga and all these Samal devotees. Last year, at this time, when Srila Gurudev was here, he began a series of classes about Guru Tattva beginning with the verse from Srimad Bhagavatam 11th canto by Am Bhutiya Vinibeshitasya Ishara Petasya Viparje Osmati Tammayaya To Buddhira Vijetam Bhaktyaita Shesam Guru Devatatma That is, since the beginning of time, we've all been in a dual conception of life, thinking I'm something other than myself thinking I'm this body and everything in relation to this body is mine and forgetting that I'm part and parcel of Krishna. How to get out of this substanceless shadow and into the reality, this verse states that we should engage in unalloyed service to the Lord, accepting his manifestation, Sri Gurudev, as our very life and soul. So Srila Gurudev gave and our very Atma more intimate with us than our Atma. So after a couple of those classes, I happened to be in Shri Gurudev's quarters at Brajit Kishori and Paramananda Prabhu's house, and Gurudev was passing by, so I took the opportunity to ask him, Shri Gurudev, you say that you are more intimate with us than our own Atma, but whenever I see you, I don't feel like that, I just feel 
far away because I feel so bad that I'm not serving you nicely. So he said, yes, that's why I gave that class. Just so you know, there's no separation between us at any moment, just like water and its wetness or fire and its heat. There's never any separation, but there's always a feeling of separation, just like the gopis are never separated from Krishna, and at the same time they're always feeling separation. So he's constantly with us and always working on us, although it may not appear to be, because he's fully the fully conscious manifestation of Krishna. I just want to tell one last story that happened. First of all, my humble obeisance as in the Lord's feet of my Shri Guru Pakpad Mong Vishnu Pasi Shman Bhakti Pagyanti Shogoswami. In sharing the Lord's feet of my Shikha Guru Mong Vishnu Pasi Shri Shman Bhakti Vedan Swami. Perhaps you know my Shiksha Guru, whom Vishnu Pasish or Bhakti Vedanta Swami Nara inspired, inspired me on his last day and told me to help his devotees. He had collected so many, but I could not train them, so you should train them. Also you know that any devotee, any shatar cannot such guru because he is not qualified. So guru like Nityananda Prabhu goes door to door and begs that you should chant her name and you will be happy. So also Swamiji inspired me to go to door to door because you all can't come to India. So as he did, he also inspired to follow me that you should go door to door, Australia, England, America, European countries, Brazil and so many Africa here, there. So I think my this is my duty to follow my spiritual guru and siksha guru. Especially, I want to remind you that what is the aim and object of your life? Especially, what you are going to do what will be the aim and object if you don't know what you can do? So first of all, you should remember that we are luckily, fortunately, in the line of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Sri Guru Purusha, especially. In the line of Srila Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur Bhakti Vinoda and then my Gurudev Shiksha Guru and Diksha Guru. What should be the aim and object of our life? That not only of our life, but what we are going to do, what should be our aim and object? You know, Hari Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to this world. Not to preach only name, because it was duty of Juga oh, Avatar. He especially come came to preach the aim and object of the life, supreme 
normally the lotus feet of Krishna, not to serve the lotus feet of Radhika. In the line of a root, Rati, Manjari, Rot, and Rupa Manjari, Rupa and Ravna. What is that? We should know in this life that what is that? The service of Radhika, more inclination towards Radhika than Krishna even. Especially we should know aim and object of our life and our devotion. What is that? Krishna praying, not Krishna, not Radhika. The heart of Radhika, full of Mahabhav, Madanakya Bhav of two. And she self and control Krishna. So this pain is object. This is supreme object, all of our life. Then knowing this, how to practice? And now come down from Sadha, the last point of and begin from Sattva, Nishtha, Anartha Nevakti, Ruchi, Asakti, Bhav, must only up to that. Try to achieve this Shuddha Sattva. This is also the heart of Radhika. Radhani Shakti. So, how to have a transcendental sattva, not laukiki, mortal sattva. Try to have. And if there comes sattva, then automatically strong faith comes in the words of Guru. And then to Krishna. And then ethics. Strong faith will come. And then begin from there. Try to give up your anats, apara, otherwise you can again. So I come to remind you all these things that you should remember. And be inspired. Don't be weak. 